Hello everyone and welcome. Thank you for joining me in the video today. As many of you know, a little while back I created this, what I believe to be the world's first 3D printed berm system clarinet. Now I still haven't confirmed this fact, as I later learned a few major manufacturers may have made an instrument uh, similar to this before I did, but at the very least this is the first well documented instrument. As I mentioned in that video, I really didn't have any plans on selling this instrument. And that was for one very big reason. So this clarinet is specifically made for this set of keywork. Meaning if you tried to acquire a similar set of keywork and make your own clarinet in this style, there's a good chance that you would have a lot of problems with alignment and getting the keys to fit. So for that reason, I never released the files. But I wanted to do more with the concept of 3D printed instruments. I think there's a lot of potential in printing unusual sizes of clarinets. So after thinking about it for a very long time, I decided to set off on my next project. So when I say 3D printed clarinet, many people probably assume I'm talking about an instrument that you could simply load onto a printer, print, and have a playing instrument within a few hours. And unfortunately, the technology just really isn't there yet. With this 3D printed clarinet, all the keywork and mechanical bits are still made in the traditional way, which means this would be a very in difficult instrument to DIY if you didn't have a cheap source for the keywork. So for my next project, I wanted to do something completely revolutionary. I wanted to make a clarinet that you could fully 3D print at home with just a simple printer, not including some of the mechanical bits like the rods and the springs, which are very easy to procure otherwise for a very low price. And with that, I designed this. This is a fully 3D printed, keys and all, piccolo clarinet in the key of A natural. So before I give you an idea of what this instrument sounds like, I wanna talk a little bit about the design. Now, I'm sure you're probably wondering why A natural? Well, to be honest, I actually tried to design it in the key of B flat, one octave above the standard clarinet, but unfortunately my math was off and instead of completely redoing the whole instrument, I just decided to go with it. This instrument is actually about the limit of how close I can put my fingers together anyway, so I'm not even really sure a B nah, flat clarinet would really work, but I guess that's an experiment for another day. But anyway, this instrument is a nine keyed A natural clarinet that uses simple system fingering. So what I mean by that is it's very similar to an Albert or German system clarinet. So your seven finger note, um, B, F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F with the middle finger like a saxophone. So to give you an idea of what this instrument sounds like, I'm gonna play a chromatic scale. So as you probably heard, this is a very high pitched bright, very piercing sounding instrument. And unfortunately the intonation isn't 100% perfect, but a lot of that is just the nature of the beast. Anybody who's ever tried to play an A flat piccolo clarinet, or really even an E flat for that matter, knows that as the smaller the clarinets get, the harder intonation is to control. But in any case, it, it produces a relatively reasonable chromatic scale. I'm actually quite impressed with uh, how in tune it is for what it is. And um, so as you can see, yeah, everything here is 3D printed. So um, like a lot of the keys are something you would never really see on a traditional clarinet. So for example, um, the, the uh, as you say, the ring key for uh, the forked F natural or B flat. Uh, so you can see um, there's a tone hole on the key itself. So below this key, there's actually a bigger tone hole. So instead of having like an extra pad cup, uh, closing a tonal uh, somewhere else on the instrument, which would add um, more key work, which would be really hard to fit on such a small instrument. I created this more compact key um, th that uh, allows you to fit your fingers much closer together than you otherwise would. Uh, and going along those lines, so one of the difficulties of the uh, traditional piccolo clarinet, um, you have uh, the sliver keys and you also have things like the, the C sharp, G sharp key that, that snakes between the fingers. And often your fingers are so close together in those instruments that 
you end up touching that key arm. But with this, the uh, C sharp, G sharp actually runs around the back of the instrument. That means you can put your fingers as close together as you want and you don't have to worry about hitting it. So a lot of those things are um, not new ideas, but I I've never seen all of them integrated on one instrument in order to make an instrument that's relatively comfortable and easy to play. And for its size, this is actually fairly easy to play. So I actually have pretty big hands. I'm a uh, men's glove size large, and I can fit my fingers on this instrument pretty well. They're, they're a little close, but they're just on the border of um, being able to play it comfortably without having to worry about accidentally uh, hitting keys without intending to. To go over some more features of this instrument, um, as I mentioned, everything, of course, is uh, 3D printed except obviously things like the reed and uh, the rods. So for the reeds, I actually designed this instrument to use standard A-flat piccolo clarinet reeds. Um, they're not the easiest things to give, but I was, I was surprised to learn you can actually order them on Amazon and a few other places. So they, they are available and uh, so you can actually get them. They're a bit expensive, but uh, it's pretty much to be expected for reeds for an unusual instrument. Um, so you can see that the ligature here is also when I kind of designed. So it uses a brass knurled nut, which you can actually find at uh, some hardware stores, um, and then just a regular uh, machine screw. Uh, other than that, the springs are a common pen springs. You can actually order a big package of them uh, for a very reasonable price. I think I got like a hundred for like eight bucks. Uh, the rods are two millimeter stainless steel rod. Again, easy to order. Uh, some hobby stores might have it, but if not, you can find them online because it's used a lot in like uh, RC cars and stuff like that. Um, the only hard thing that might be hard to find is the uh, the pad material. So um, if you watch my video on making homemade pads, uh, I'm using the same sealing material for these pads. It's a 1 16th neoprene foam sheet uh, closed cell. It used to be pretty common, but unfortunately it's been harder and harder to find. I think you can still get it from some places, but you have to dig. Um, uh, if I can find it, I will post a link in the comments. And other than that, I think the only other thing you need, uh, you need some cork for the tenon. You could probably use a uh, string or Teflon tape if you really wanted to. I, I just like cork. It's my uh, favorite material. I was thinking of trying to integrate O-rings, uh, but personally, I'm not a huge fan of O-rings. So I think it's just um, 1 32nd cork and some contact cement. You can get the cork on Music Medic for fairly cheap. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So other than the 3D printed components, it's pretty much just standard off the shelf parts that are really easy to order. So now I'm sure you're wondering what it sounds like to play certain familiar tunes on this instrument. So let me give my best shot of playing some Mozart. So it's not the easiest instrument in the world to play, but it is playable. I, with some practice, you can actually uh, get pretty uh, proficient at playing up and down the range. Uh, it does have a little bit of a tendency to squeak, like a lot of the smaller clarinets, but it is a true clarinet through and through. And now for the coolest part of this instrument. This isn't just some cool wall hanger that I have in my shop. This is an instrument that you, that's right, you, can actually make yourself for very little money. So all you really need to build this instrument is an $150 3D printer, uh, roughly $50 worth of materials, and I'm actually selling the files for this clarinet on my website for $50. So for a very reasonable price, less than even a used student clarinet, you could make your own clarinet like this and say that you've actually 3D printed your own clarinet at home, which I think is the coolest thing ever. You know, imagine a future where you could uh, open your replicator and, and just uh, upload any clarinet file you want and print it and have a plain clarinet ready to go. Fortunately, we're not quite there yet, but I really think that this is the future of some of the more obscure sizes of clarinets. And I hope to make more instruments like this. I hope this is just the first in many instruments that you can print yourself. But yeah, I think the future of clarinets is looking really bright. So thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about this really cool and unique instrument.